All right, so it's your boy Jackson, Z Jackson, and we're back with your preview before training camp. All right, so the offseason is in full swing. We've had the draft, rookie minicamp, OTAs, voluntary and mandatory, and uh, we're in summer break mode right now. The guys are on a summer break between now and July 25th when training camp starts. And looking at the team from every angle possible because there are a lot of different angles that they tried to improve on in the offseason. This team looks to do a lot of damage and open a lot of people's eyes in this league. From Trevor getting his second year in a stable uh, coaching situation, an offensive scheme, from the defense basically solidifying themselves and also getting comfortable in Mike Carwell's. Uh, coordinating his defensive scheme as well. These guys really look to do a lot of them. A lot of the rookies that we had last year are going into their second year and everybody knows that that first year is always really tough because the guys are coming off a full college year. A lot of them are in bowl games and they just don't have enough rest and downtime in between them getting drafted and the start of an NFL season. Also them having to learn a brand new playbook getting ready for getting the speed for the NFL and all that good stuff. All right, since it's the offseason, let's look at some stuff outside the players themselves and look at what's going on with the team in general. Uh, they put out some renderings of the new stadium build where they're going to take the old stadium bones, just the structure of it, and redo the entire thing so we can get up to date, get up to code on some futuristic type stuff. For our stadium because I believe we have the oldest stadium in the whole league. All right, so since we uh, went to OTAs, uh, the voluntary portion of it, uh, I have to put some input in on what I saw myself within uh, for the team. And one thing that really has me very inspired is knowing that Trevor is very, very comfortable with this playbook. Uh, remember last year he was trying to figure it out, thinking, not thinking and dunking, but he was doing, he was trying to get the flow of the scheme. This year, it looks like he knows what plays hit for big and what plays a medium uh, yardage and stuff that's going to go for touchdowns. So I really look forward to him getting his uh, second year with, with Doug Peterson and uh, hopefully not have so many different uh, obstacles to have to overcome. One thing I did do in the offseason about a week ago, I watched the Dallas Cowboys game. And there's so many like missed opportunities and just things that are, that are I, I still look at Trevor as like a rookie. So I still look at last year as like his rookie year. So last year, even in that one game that I rewatched, there was stuff there where it was just like clock management. He was shooting one way and the, and the guy, another guy was wide open type deal. Uh, just stuff like that, and I don't think he's going to have those type of troubles and hangups this year. Uh, the offensive line is something that we are concerned about, being that Cam Robinson is going to see some type of time off the field being suspended for PEDs. But I do think that with the, the coaching staff and the depth that we have at the offensive line, that we'll be able to patch that together to make it work for the time being until Cam Robinson gets back. On the defensive side of the ball, I feel like even though we lost Art and Key, that we are going to be okay in that instance because uh, Tyler Lacey, he's a strong individual. Uh, uh, Yassir Abdullah, he's very nice around the edge and he can cover in uh, pass protection. And then we're honestly going to figure out what to do with Devin Lloyd. Uh, they played him a lot in coverage last year, which I don't think that's his strong suit. He's more, he needs to be around the ball. You know what I mean? So he might get some uh, pass rushing opportunities or opportunities to just be near the ball because I remember last year uh, within the first month of the season he was like defensive rookie of the month or whatever because he had like a pick, a fumble and another pick or something like that it was just crazy how he was doing so well at the beginning and it, it just fell off so I think they're going to figure out what position they want him to play what type of linebacker they want him to be or need him to be I expect Trayvon Walker to be gangbusters out there this year. I think Trayvon is going to be a monster, a beast on the field this year. Uh, he's going to help support so much of what Josh Allen needs on either sides of the ball. So both of those guys, I expect Josh Allen and Trayvon Walker to have really big years and uh, have a lot of production. 
All right, so that's the linebackers and uh, defensive line. Let's move back a step to the uh, DBs. DBs, I know we all know that Tyson is going to be the number one. I believe Darius Williams is going to be the number two. We don't know who the nickel is going to be. I think that's going to get decided in preseason. Um, they've been shuffling a lot of guys in and out. I can't say who they've been putting in. Um, but also, last year, a guy, Buster uh, Monteric, I can't remember his last name, but Buster something. He's a very athletic player. He got to see some snaps, some playing times last year, and I felt like he did really well. Um, still got Chris Claypool, who's a solid, solid cornerback. Um, and we have Trey Herndon, and he's a veteran. <laughs> um, he's stuck around, man. I don't know how, but he's stuck around, and he's solid when he's in there from time to time. Other times he gets burnt, but he hasn't last year. I don't believe he got burnt too bad like Toast. But uh, let's move on to the safeties, man. I have all confidence in the world in the safeties right now. Cisco, he came in at least 10, 15 pounds heavier and it's all straight muscle, which is wild. That boy has been in the weight room. I like what I saw out of him. He's moving heavy and, and uh, he's not he's not taking no, playing no games with people. Like, I, I really don't see nobody coming across the middle of the field uh, trying to test our safeties. Rayshon Jenkins, I think he came in about five pounds heavier, about five to 10 pounds heavier. He's not looking as big as uh, Cisco, but uh, he doesn't have to be. He was a dog, he was a beast last year. He did his thing last year and uh, he deserves everything he's, that's coming to him. Um, that's how I feel about the team right now. We have, like I said, we got a training camp. What we saw in OTAs was just shorts and t-shirts. So you can't make a uh, determination off of that. Gotta wait till these boys put the pads on. Gotta wait to see how these boys uh, line up um, team drills and stuff like that and see what type of uh, motion they got going, man. I, I am very high on this team and I think they're gonna do really well. Looking over to the uh, rest of the conference, we, I, I would say I wanna, see, I'm excited to see what the Colts got in store for us, who they're gonna put out there, whether it's gonna be Gardner Minshew, I don't think he's gonna start. Um, he might though, um, or either Anthony Richardson. And then checking over to the Texans, I wanna see what CJ Trial is all about. He was a beast at Ohio State, um, California kid, uh, played in Snoop's league, Snoop Dogg's league. Um, he's a dope player, but I don't know if the Texans have it all together. They have a brand new coach in DeMarco uh, Ryan. Uh, ex-player uh, so we gotta just see what they come up with uh, they always gonna be some trouble for the Jazz it's just the nature of the beast uh, <laughs> common opponents you know what I mean so uh, we gotta see about those and the dreaded Titans man I don't think they're gonna be as much of trouble as we think they, they have been in the past but we have yet to see what they're gonna do and um, I just I don't like anything on their draft board and now the, the players that they have the ones that are solid Jeff Simmons stuff like that the defense is going to do what they're going to do offensively we have no idea what they're going to do we don't know how healthy Derrick Henry is and how much tread he has left on the tires honestly uh so we're going to see what that's about and see what the quarterback situation looking like over there I don't believe in their their Levi quarterback that they drafted uh because if he was that good he would have got drafted a lot higher than he did uh they still have Malik Willis although I think he might be on his way out and they still have Ryan Tannehill, which I've never believed in him from the start. Um, he throws the ball when he has to and not when he wants to. So um, that's it for me, man. This is your boy Jackson. D. Jackson, man. I appreciate y'all sticking around, man. Y'all please follow, 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 share, share, share. The uh, Instagram is April.Visuals. Uh, the YouTube channel, please subscribe to us. And uh, Facebook as well, April.Visuals, man. Y'all take it easy, man. It's your boy Jackson. D. Jackson and Duval, we go.